everybody, welcome back to Stardew Valley Expanded, here with me, Tianic. Welcome back everybody, hope you are doing well today. It is Thursday and I decided that uh, I wanted to record a Stardew Valley episode, I don't know. I know it's not Monday, so things are a little weird, but Monday I didn't have the energy to record and I figure a Thursday Stardew Valley episode is better than no Stardew Valley episode. Yes, I think so. So, checking the weather forecast, it's going to snow tomorrow and the fortune teller says that the spirits are neutral today. The day is in our hands. Okay, well, let's take a look at what the day presents. Neutral spirits are not too bad, so we could potentially go to the skull cavern if we feel like it. We do also have to go and pick up our steel watering can from uh, the blacksmith today who has also sent us a letter. I've got an unusual request. Could you keep this a secret? I want you to deliver an amethyst to Emily. It's her favorite stone. Tell her it's from me. Of course. I mean, you really don't need me to do your romancing for you, but I'm more than happy to help you out here, my darling. Okay. But yeah, no, we could go. We've got to go and pick up our steel watering can today. And I figure it's probably worth just putting it or one of our things straight back in to get the next upgrade to gold. I'm thinking maybe our, our axe and then we'll do our watering can after that um, because our axe is a very useful thing to have upgraded, particularly as we move forwards into the next season. Yes, that is what I'm thinking. Um, okay. Plus, I want to be able to fill up my dog's water bowl <laughs> just for a couple of days because poor old doggo hasn't had any water in his bowl. Now, a lot of you guys left some really uh, helpful, great comments on my last video about what we should do with this here greenhouse. Oh my gosh, this looks actually different from uh, base game Stardew as well. We've got like extra bits of planting area all up the sides. Oh, okay. Cool. I hadn't actually seen the Stardew Valley expanded greenhouse, but they've expanded the greenhouse. What a shocker. But yeah, so we're gonna eventually fill this up. Most of you guys um, kind of said similar things to me with using like ancient fruit and star fruit and turning star fruit into wine um, and also having coffee growing. Uh, there was also a great suggestion to have the ingredients you use all the time. Oh, look, we've got the white eggs coming. Nice. Uh, yeah, ingredients that you use all the time in cooking, like your main recipe ingredients, are uh, growing in there as well. I thought that was a great idea too because, um, yeah, like cooking is actually a really useful thing when you get enough ingredients and you know enough recipes. Um, you can really get some good buffs uh, from cooking. So that's definitely something that I want to do more of and get better at. Uh, so yeah, that was another really good suggestion. So thank you all for leaving those comments. I will... Um, yeah, see if we can start getting our hands on some ancient fruit seeds and some star fruit seeds uh, in the future, in the near future. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pop all our milk into our cheese makers. Now, we do actually need to go and see Marnie as well to get uh, the next animals for our barn because we have heaps of space in the barn right now um, and not much going on in there. So we can also do that. Oh yeah, and another comment was that I should have got way more crab cakes, which I absolutely agree. Crab cakes are such a good food. Um, and I agree, yes, I should have I should have gotten more of them. So we will rectify that. Oh my gosh, we have 23 pine tars. What the heck do we need with 23 pine tars? Let's sell eight of these. Yeah, okay. So let's jump on Bullseye. It's Saturday today in Stardew Valley. Let's go down to Marnie, see if we can, uh, see if she's behind her desk. And then if she is, we'll buy some piggies, which will be exciting. So it is past nine, so she should be there. She's going to be there today. She is. How exciting. Howdy, Marty. Have you been to that strange tower west of my house? One time I heard this terrible, otherworldly noise coming from there. <gasps> I would avoid that place if I were you. Um, no, no, I've totally been there. The guy's uh, named Wizard. He's totally chill. Rasmodius, actually, is his name. <laughs> okay, so purchase animals. We can now get, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. yeah, piggies. So let's go ahead and also sheep. Right. Yeah, so let's go ahead and grab two sheep and two piggies. This is going to set us back quite a bit of money, um, but I think it's going to be worth it in the long run. So this is a sheep, so we're going to name this one um, Lamb Chop. Actually, no, we're not, because we're not going to turn these sheep into food. Let's call this one Fluff. <laughs> and then let's uh, get another sheep. The reason I always buy two animals is that they can actually then kind of breed technically and make more little animals. 
Uh, so we'll call them floop, Floof and Fluff. Because we're mostly going to be using them for wool. This is setting us back a lot of money, as I said it would. Pigs are 16,000 gold each, guys. So this is like, this is a lot of money. Uh, so this one we'll call Babe, naturally. And then can we afford one more? We can afford one more. Woohoo! Okay, we're not going to be able to afford to upgrade our axe today. Because <laughs> we're buying all of these animals. Oh my gosh, this is so expensive. Um, okay, so Babe and... Honk. Babe and Honk are going to be our pigs. And then we're left with 3,000 gold. Woohoo! Back at square one in terms of money. <laughs> we'll have to find some ways to make some nice amounts of money today. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, there's Sam. What's up, dude? Let's go and say hi to him. Oh, and I got another great comment on my last video as well. Um, oh. Yeah, go ahead and change your strings on your guitar and write a song. Would you like to put me in the song? Or <laughs> Changing strings on a guitar is not actually super easy. But yeah, no, I got a very helpful comment on my last video as well regarding that secret note we were trying to figure out. Um, and I was basically just a complete derp. Where am I going? Um, yeah, I, I did actually know this, but you need to walk in the direction until you hit something. I did know that. I just forgot. Hello, Harvey. No, I'm cool. I was just saying hello, actually. Some people do just, you know, stop you in the street just to say hi. Hello, Gunther. We have a prehistoric bone for you. Are you excited? Yes, you are. No, you didn't give us a reward. He wasn't that excited. Okay, well, enjoy your prehistoric bone. Oh, a Shane cutscene. Shane cutscenes are always so sad. I hope this one isn't too sad. Hey, man. Or is that Victor? Oh, it's Victor! Oh my god, I thought it was Shane. Oh, how embarrassing. I'm going to marry this guy and I don't even know who he is. A Victor cutscene. Oh my god, this, that's even more exciting. Hi, Bonnie. Hello. Are you okay? Oh, what am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? I'm, well, just thinking at the moment. I have a lot on my mind. Like me? My mother told me she's disappointed I haven't found a job yet. I came to the park to get out of the house for a while. I can't blame her for feeling that way. I graduated from university a year ago and I'm still living at home. God, mate, that's everyone after university, trust me. Maybe she thinks I'm just lazy and comfortable living at home forever because we're financially secure. But that's not the case at all. Over the last year, I've turned down dozens of internships and job offers. None of them appealed to me. I don't want to move out of the valley and work myself to death in the city. Babe, I completely get you. I want a career where I'm free to be who I am, not who I'm told to become. I totally understand. You understand what I'm saying, Bonnie? Yes. You quit your office job because there wasn't it wasn't true to who you were. You took a leap of faith and took over your grandpa's farm. Just look at how that transformed your life. Best decision ever. In a way, I envy you, Bonnie. You could move in with me. Working at Jojo was the worst. A career like that sounds dreadful. Having a boss telling you what to do and how to feel, working that much, that's essentially over half your life that doesn't belong to you. Gotta get a career you're passionate about, man. My mother doesn't understand what I'm going through. I'm optimistic I'll figure this out soon enough, Bonnie. That's good, it's good to be optimistic. Hugs? You wanna hug? You wanna hug it out? No. Oh, okay. Well, nice chat. Um, lovely, lovely chatting with you as always, Victor. Because I love you. <laughs> Call me old-fashioned, but I prefer writing letters instead of emailing. All this new technology is advancing too fast for me to keep up with. I like letters too, but also emails. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie. I appreciate you talking to me at the park. You're a good listener. I consider you one of my closest friends. Oh, friend zoned. Great. Okay, hey Clint, what is up my darling? Sometimes I wonder how I ended up in this town. Wasn't your grandfather and your great grandfather and your father and everyone else in your family a blacksmith? It's probably how that ended up happening. Okay, we got our steel watering can. So yeah, unfortunately we need 10,000 gold to upgrade um, our other tools. We could put our, our hoe in there for an upgrade. That's potentially not the worst idea. Just a cheap little upgrade, but better not. Ah. Can you smell that? I've been catching hints of fresh crab all day. Yeah, no, that's um Gus over at the saloon, man. He's uh cooking crab cakes 
by the bucket load. Actually, speaking of the saloon, I don't think Emily would be there yet, would she? She might actually be down in her house. Oh my god, everyone's out today. Hey, Sebby, what's up? Wait. Uh, you need a midnight carp. Okay, well, maybe. Um, I don't really know how to catch one of those, but I assume I need to go fishing in a river at night time. The frogs aren't very happy in the winter. Poor little guys. Aww. Uh, but yeah, let's see if Emily's at home in her house um, to give her this amethyst. Dad's coming back soon! I hope he brings me some toys. Sometimes I look for crawdads in the river. Don't tell out Marnie. But I fed one to a cow once. <laughs> she loved it. Wow, cool story. Things changed a lot after the Joe Mart went up. It's been really bad for Pierre's shop. Mum loves Joe Mart though. The prices are cheap so she can afford a lot more than she ever could at Pierre's. Maybe Pierre should, you know, like lower his prices to remain competitive. I don't know. Oh, and we actually have an Emily cutscene. Oh, this one's pretty funny too. I think we go into her dream. Uh, if I'm remembering this correctly. Yeah. <laughs> no, cutscene central today. Uh, I love when we get a cutscene central episode. We seem to get these just like every now and then. Um, it's always like all of them at once. <laughs> so here's, here's what Emily dreams about. My gosh, I wish this was my dreaming. Mwah. Wow! Hello there. This music reminds me a lot of a movie that I used to be obsessed with as a kid called The Little Princess. Oh my god, if you guys have seen that, leave me a comment. Why are you here? This just, I don't know, Emily, this just looks like a hip and happening place that I would like to hang out. Her mind palace. That reminded me of something. Even the tiniest blend of simplest light holds a wonderful secret. Now I know why you're here. It's a sign! <laughs> yeah, question mark. It's a sign that we should be BFFs, my darling. BFFs. One day I'm gonna do a playthrough where I marry Emily. Because I love her, too. Emily, you home? I was just dropping in because Clint wanted me to give you something. Bonnie. There's something special about Bonnie. Our destinies will intersect. Cool. Um, well, that was fun. Are you actually here, though? <laughs> I mean, yeah, she, she's up in her room. Cool. Hey, hey, girl, hey. Do you know how to cook bean hot pot? I like that dish quite a bit. It's hard to get fresh ingredients in the winter, huh? Oh, I could probably... Did I not bring an amethyst? Oh, my God, I'm a noob. I thought I had one in my inventory. I must have accidentally booped it back into my chest. Oh, wait. Okay, just hold that thought, Ems. I will be right back. I'm so sorry. Uh, just, just, just stay right there. Don't move a muscle. I'm just an idiot. Okay, here we go. But yeah, so apparently today we're just running errands around town. Let's grab out our fishing rod. Oh my goodness. We have got, sorry, one of my cords just like fell off my desk and it freaked me out. Another cutscene. Hey, Pam. God, don't scare me like that. Sorry. Sorry, Pam. I've been on edge lately. You've been cutting back on the alcohol? No. To tell you the truth, I'm sick of everything. Oh, what's bothering you, hun? Believe it or not, kid, when I was your age, I had dreams. I wanted to be up there in the sky, piloting planes. Not this. Oh, Pam. We've got all these like deep and meaningful cutscenes today. My heart. Oh my god. If I had tried harder in flight school, my life would have been different. You went to flight school? That's sick. I made a lot of mistakes in my life, Bonnie. Now I'm just a bitter old woman. Oh, Pam. The divorce was my fault. I gave Henry a world of grief and pain. I know I take things out on Penny and then go spending what little money I have at the saloon to wash everything away. Oh my gosh, this is actually like very upsetting. I'm gonna be stuck being a bus driver the rest of my life. No ambitions, no dreams anymore, nothing. No you won't, darling. Things will get better, I promise. 
I'm not looking for sympathy, kid. These feelings are just business as usual. You don't need to give me fluffy words. Nothing will change my situation or my life. I got myself here. Fine. If you really want to cheer me up, buy me a beer tonight. Okay. Well, that was a little sad and upsetting. Also, my Stardew Valley window was not in the right... <laughs> was My Stardew Valley window was not in the right spot for, like, that whole first section. So, anyway... We'll ignore that and move on. Cool. Now, what am I doing? I'm grabbing an amethyst. Yes, I am. Boop. Yeah, I must have accidentally <laughs> just put it straight back in my chest. Oopsies. Also, let's put that gold back because we're not actually going to have the money for that today. We'll have to remember to pop in and say hi to our new animals. Welcome them to the barn. Ooh, just my little cuties. That's okay. We'll get, we'll get our tools upgraded slowly but surely. It's not a huge deal. Um, yes. Climpse attempt. Bring Emily an amethyst. Alright, they got band practice today. Cute. Okay, Em. Hello, I'm back. Sorry, I forgot to bring this to you before. Oh, my favourite stone. You're so sweet. What? It's from who? Oh, you got it at Clint's. Oh, well, I don't care where you got it from. It's beautiful. Thank you. Mwah. No, 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 honey. It's it's from... Okay. Good chat, Em. Good, good chat. Hey, hey, you're actually Shane. Oh my god, my horse is blocking me. Hey Shane, hey Shane. I'm renting a room from Marnie at a really good price. It's small, but I can't complain. Awesome, nice to hear you actually not complaining. Okay, now where did I note down the directions I need to go? Okay, now, <laughs> I still think the area I'm looking is up here. I Like, I mean, down here, I could, I could be wrong. Uh, let's go ahead and just take another look at that secret note. Uh, not that one. Sorry. Na, 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 na. This one. So yeah, okay, so it's, you start there and you walk until you hit something. Right. Okay. So, so start right here. Right? Yes. Start here. Or am I still in the wrong spot? I could still be in the wrong spot. This is all a trial and error thing. Okay, so we go right down, left, and then I'm supposed to go down. Okay, I take that as a sign that this is not actually the correct spot. Let's try instead up in that second spot I thought it could be, which is like up here, maybe? Unless I'm completely wrong about that as well. Hi, Judy! Need something? No, 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 just saying hi. So, right. Oop, right. Oh my god, this is a long way right! <laughs> Okay, down, and then left, and then down, and then left, and then down? I'm behind the mayor's house. Uh, I don't know if this is correct. Hello? <laughs> the mayor comes out and he's like, Bonnie, what are you doing in my backyard? And we're just like, oh, nothing. We're just, we're just hanging. We're just chilling. So did I get that right or did I still get that wrong? Because I started in the incorrect spot. Oh, it's too confusing. I'm not a smart problem solver, if you guys can't tell. So yeah, from here. That way, that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. Tick. I feel like there's oh I found it solid gold Lewis oh my goodness mayor's secret project wait where is the mayor <laughs> Dude, I found this behind your house. Uh, you want to tell me what's this, what this is about? Okay, where is the mayor? We gotta go and find him. Um, and ask him what the heck is up with his solid gold Lewis. <laughs> I wonder how much that's worth. Can I sell that? I'm kind of poor right now. So I wouldn't actually mind selling that if that's cool. I think I saw Mayor Lewis going over this way this morning. Yes, I did. Sweet. Hey again, Victor. Oh, I forgot to grab my fishing rod too. There's bubbles there. Okay, well, I have a solid gold Lewis, 
So that's cool. I'm not sure if I'm meant to sell that or keep that for a future, ooh, look at those two, a future moment in time. So for now, I'll hang on to it um, and then we'll see if something happens with it. But um, I wouldn't mind selling it because, yeah, we're kind of poor right now. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and for now, we'll just put it inside in our chest of wonders. There we go. Okay. Now let's grab a fishing rod and let's do some fishing. I feel like it's been a while since we did fishing. And I've just realized as well, since it's winter now, we should see if we can catch the winter rare fish. Um, whatever that is. The glacier fish. I just don't remember exactly where I'm supposed to catch that from. So uh, it might be too late for me to get back into the library tonight. Let's actually see. Horsey, I'm just going to leave you here for a quick sec. Uh, town. Are you still open? No, I think this place closes at like four. So. Oh, no, we can still get in. Sweet. Now, where was my book about the magic fish? Oh, uh, do I remember? No, from Gunther. Wow, this library has become great. Thanks to your help. Thanks a bunch. You're welcome. Technology report. Aha! The glacier fish, which only appears in winter, can be caught off the southern tip of Arrowhead Island in Cindersap Forest, near where the river meets the ocean. Gosh, where on earth is that? Um, can I zoom in on this map, please? So this is like Cindersap Forest over here. Arrowhead Island? I'm guessing is like down here, near where the river meets the ocean so like like down here like south of um south of thingo's house maybe that's where it is okay well we're gonna go on a little bit of a trek then uh let's go back and get the horsey Whee! also there was a one comment on my last video as well talking about the the greenhouse and what we should grow in there and about growing coffee or not. And someone mentioned, well, it's like you've already got the plus one bonus on your movement speed from the cheats. You probably don't need the coffee. I, I disagree. Al contraire. The reason I gave myself the plus one movement speed bonus be was because this map is just so much bigger than like vanilla Stardew that it would take me absolutely forever to get anywhere uh, if I didn't have that plus one bonus. So having plus two bonus would make it even better. Just saying. Okay, yeah, so this is his place. So is it like maybe, maybe like down here? Let's see. What happens if we go fishing right here? It could be further south as well. Found it! I'll be honest, guys. I was not prepared! Oh, no, I did not. Okay, I was literally, like, moving my notebook as that started. I did not think we were going to catch the legendary fish first go. Oh, my God, again. Oh my gosh, okay, this guy is hard. <gasps> Are we gonna even be able to catch this fish? I don't know, jeez. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> I know I've caught this fish once before, but this is insane. I may need a better bobber. Okay, that's not the legendary fish. I was like, ready! Oh, that's a normal fish. A chub, okay. Ugh. I don't know if I'm gonna, what have I got on my thing right now? Okay, I've got... I've got some type of bobber on it. I think it's the trap bobber, but I don't know. One more go. One more go. That was close at that time, and then I lost it. 
<laughs> this is ridiculously hard, guys. If you've never tried to catch the legendary fish before, legendary fish before, have a go. It's fun. I can't catch a single fish today. What is wrong with me? Ah, I've lost my fishing skill. No, 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 no. That was so close. <laughs> one more go, one more go, one more go. Come on. Ugh. See, this time he's a complete skit. No. Oh, my fishing tackle's worn out. Okay. All right, let's call it a night. Wow. Well, guys, now you know that uh, catching that guy... Oh, okay. He and Mayor Lewis don't get along. Now we know that catching the glacier fish is going to take a uh, little bit more finesse. <laughs> a little bit more uh, skill and a little bit of a nicer tackle, maybe, <laughs> to be able to reel that guy in. Maybe, pardon me, maybe we'll go down to Willy's tomorrow and, I know it's getting late, game, come on, and see if we can get, oh, the animals, I forgot to go and say hi to the animals, see if we can get, um, some better bobbers and see if that helps. I don't know if it will, but, you know, maybe worth a shot. Um, I'm just actually going to go in, hello everybody, oh, babies. Um, I'm going to go and collect all of these bits and pieces from the barns and the coops to add to today's selling pile so we get a little bit more gold for the end of our day today because uh, we are running a bit low. So let's go ahead and sell all of that. Now, uh, do I need any of these fish for a bundle? Oh, really? I need a chub? Where do I need a chub? Have I already turned in the chub? I need to add a catfish to that one. Yeah, I have a feeling I've already turned in the chub. Okay, so that's fine. Um, didn't look like we actually needed any of these fish. Uh, so let's go ahead and sell them all. Okay. Right. Well, that was a fun adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me fail at my fishing adventure just then. So let's go to sleep for the night and hopefully we made a little bit of nice gold today. 7,299. Excellent. Okay. That's going to, you know, help boost us back up a little bit considering we spent so much money yesterday on our new animals. Okay, so today is someone's birthday, I believe. Yes, it is Caroline's birthday. Okay, let's see if we know anything about what Caroline likes, either from secret, aha, uh -huh. <laughs> I was gonna say, from secret notes. Abigail's diary, uh, oh no, wait, that's things that she likes. Okay, um, Maru's favorites. Okay, so we don't know anything from there. Do we know anything in here? Where is Caroline? I don't think we're, no, we're not great friends. <laughs> okay, I don't really know anything about what Caroline likes. Well, let's give her something that's generically everyone likes. Welcome to Kozu 5. Clear and sunny tomorrow, perfect, perfect weather for the festival of ice. Blah, blah, blah. The event will take place in the forest between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Don't be late, cool. Fortune teller, neutral spirits. <sighs> Greetings, this is I, the quick sauce, who's to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my cookbook. This week's dish is plum pudding. Little Jack Horner is jamming at the bit for the ooey gooey delight, and who can blame him? These plums are floral and sweet, and just the right amount of tartness to fully activate every last one of your eager taste buds. Cool, learn how to cook plum pudding. I'm guessing we need plums. Oh, hello. Pierre! Hello there, Bonnie. So, your first year at Stardew Valley is almost over. Oh my god, really? Wow. If you keep buying seeds from me, you'll be twice as productive next year. And I have some exciting news. I'll be selling new seed varieties in my shop next year. I should have one new variety per season. Well, that's all I wanted to say. Have a good one. Thanks, Pierre. You know, I wouldn't even bother trying my competitor's seeds. 
PS seeds are the highest quality seeds you'll find anywhere. That's a promise. Thanks, bro. Great chat. Always a delight. Dear Bonnie, tomorrow we're all gathering by Andy's house in the forest uh, and walking to the fishing spot in the forest for the festival of ice. It's a celebration of winter. There'll be snowmen, ice sculptures, and an ice fishing contest, which I will win. Active between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. If you'd like to participate, Mayor Lewis. Excellent. Sounds great. Um, what I was going to say before about the neutral spirits was let's go to the mines again today. Let's go to the mines again. Let's have some fun. Um, I I would like to go. I mean, by the mines, I mean the skull cavern. Let's go to the skull cavern again today. Let's go and uh, see if, how many floors we can get down. Let's see how much iridium we can collect. Why the heck not? Uh, just because I think it'll be a good time. Hello, everybody. You guys all sit tight today. Gonna put your eggs in there for the mayonnaise. And then... The other thing about going to the skull cabin is hopefully we can make a bit of money from uh, collecting stuff. There we go. Say hi to everyone. We will milk our new cows. So the piggies won't be useful until A, they grow up, and B, winter is over. Piggies are only useful in the other seasons of the year. And what they do is they sniff around and they dig up truffles, which you can turn into oil or just sell. Either way, you make a crap ton of money from them. That's why the pigs are so expensive, because they are actually very profitable little buggers. Um, and the sheepies are only really useful for... Um, what's it called? <laughs> Wool. <laughs> Wow, I just had like the worst mental blank of my life. Okay. Um, yeah, for wool. So that's why we have those. Now, I'm going to drop off my axe, my scythe, and my hoe. I'll probably just take my pickaxe and my sword. And then we're going to take food, food galore. Lots and lots of food. You'll see here I've also got a warp totem to the desert. So we can just warp there rather than taking the bus. Because why not? Um, and yep, yeah, that's all good. The other thing I will grab is my bombs, whatever bombs I had left over from last time, which isn't many, so we might have to make some more bombs. Oh, maybe we'll make a couple more. At least a couple more cherry bombs. Like we can make another five. Get us up to ten cherry bombs, that'll be good. And then the, no the other bombs are iron and coal, yeah. So how much iron ore have we got? We got a bit. So yeah, maybe we could make just another one, two, three. So we'll have ten cherry bombs and five of the medium-sized bombs. You can also get mega bombs, which are really fun. But we don't really need those today. Oh yeah, I think I was going to go and crack open all my geodes at Clint's, but I forgot. Oh well. Now, do I also have a farm warp totem hiding in here anywhere? I do. Excellent. So we can warp there and we can warp home. Okay. So this is how warp totems work. Three, two, one. We're off! Saves time, saves money, and we love to see it. Oh, and I forgot to bring anything to drop off for Sandy. Oopsie doopsie. That's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up all of those things. Today's focus is not making friends with Sandy, though. Today's focus is mining. Pull out my sword, ready to go. Let's jump in. Okay. I see you there, little dude. I hear you there, little dude. So this is how you take out these mummies. I kind of uh, hinted at this last time. So I've knocked them both to piles on the floor, but they will get back up again unless you bomb them. And then they're dead. So that's what you have to do with that. Ooh, a satchel. Cool. Okay. And this is why you want lots and lots of cherry bombs. Oh, there's a ladder over there. Just sitting there open, ready for me to go down. Excellent. I am just going to really quickly grab this uh, copper ore up here, though, because with copper ore, we can make more bombs when we need them. Okay. Oh, hole in the ground. Yes. Jump in. Six levels down. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just go for a little run around, see if there's a an open pathway anywhere. Hmm, doesn't look like it. Okay. 
Okay, great. So we're gonna have to try to dig around until we find a way down. And I'm impatient, so let's kablooey. There we go. Okay, oh. This is a treasure floor. Okay, well there's a way down, but I think it's probably worth going around and seeing if we can get to the middle of this floor. Hopefully there's gonna be some good loot in the middle there. I do see one of those serpent dudes, which I hate, but I should be able to take him out. And I mean, it is good to kill the serpent dudes considering that they give you good drops. Whee! Oh, look at all that loot. Look at all that loot in there, you guys. Hello, serpent. You coming to see me? me. <laughs> I was facing the wrong way. They do pack a huge punch, those guys. I think that's only one hit from him and that ha that's how much it took my health down. So yeah, you really need to watch those dudes. Okay, just boost myself up just a little bit. Oh, I hear another one. Come on, give me something good. I'm collecting wood, stone and bone fragments. How exciting. So that probably wasn't worth it at all, basically. All right then, let's uh, run all the way back to that ladder we found. It's probably just probably gonna be faster than trying to dig and find another one. Probably. We. These rooms are, oh, ladder. I was gonna say, these rooms are so time consuming. Well, there's some ghosties coming to get me. Okay, that guy fell like all the way over there, which is unhelpful because he's nowhere near the other rocks. Ooh, I got dark boots. Ooh. Ow. Bad ghosty. Man, these guys. <gasps> I thought for a second I might have picked up a ghost fish, but I don't think I did. I was gonna say those guys pack quite a punch. I mean, everything in the skull cavern packs quite a punch, though, so I shouldn't be surprised. Oh my gosh, look at my health. See, this is what I mean. There we go. And we got a ladder. Down we go. Hole in the ground. Jump in. Woohoo! Another four levels down. We're on level 15. Okay. What do we got? We got a mushroom. Cool. There's a big slime over there. This looks like a good place to set off a bomb. Yep. Brilliant. Whee! Ooh, let's go and get that fire cord. Okay, sword in hand. Down we go. Nothing is attacking me immediately. Thank you, game. This looks like another good place to set off a bomb. God, I love bombs. I probably overused bombs in the skull cavern, to be honest, but... Eh. Oh, and I didn't get anything good. Another fire quartz. Let's kablooey this place. And we'll take out this serpent guy before we go down, just because I'm feeling confident. Ha ha! Take that. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. What was that I was saying about feeling confident? Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, I made a mistake. <laughs> this area is infested with serpents. Is there anything worse? Oh, there's a slime here as well. Whew. Luckily the galaxy sword makes it not so bad. Is this my last? Nope, there's two more. Okay. Okay, come on, I've killed everything. Let me, let me down. Oh, there's treasure. And more serpents. Okay. Ow. Oh, that's a lot of slime. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, you don't want the slimes getting behind you. That's bad news. Okay. Woo! We're survived so far. This should be my last enemy to take out, I think. Nope. Hey, 
way down has appeared. Where has it appeared? Okay, that was some better loot that time. Um. Oh, right in front of the other one? Okay, it's already 3.20pm and we're only at level 17. Unfortunate. This one's got a rail cart track in it, which means there might be a coal stash somewhere in here, which is always useful. Gotcha. Okay, I hear you. I'm pulling out my sword. There you are. Die clown. And boop, got my coal. Alright, now we just need to find a way down. Definitely feeling the difference between lucky spirits and neutral spirits today. I feel like it really makes a lot of difference in how easy it is to find ladders. Um, and today we're not finding them very easily, so... It's a little bit slow going in the mines today. Oop, there we go. Which is a bit unfortunate. Ooh, that's an interesting looking rock. Oh my gosh, he gave me an Iridium Bar. That's a lucky drop if there ever was one. Wowzers. Okay. Oh, hello. Something written on the wall. Let's go. Oh, there's bats. Great. The bats in the skull cavern? Not friendly. Oh, there's so many bats. Oh, that's not my sword. That's not my sword. <laughs> you can't kill bats with a pickaxe, woman. Oh, no. Oh, and my inventory's full. Great. Okay, what do we got here? Not a lot that we can drop. Okay, well... Ah, there's another bat! There's another bat! There's another bat! I did not see it. Ah! Always carry your sword, woman. What can I do? Let's make some more bombs. No, that didn't clear up any inventory space. Oh, there's another bat! Why are there so many bats on this floor? Nasty, I don't like that. Okay, let's try a cherry bomb there. And a cherry bomb there. There we go, we got a ladder. Okay. Yeah. Let's cherry bomb that guy's face. Oh, another satchel. Am I holding my sword? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh! Oh, I thought I took that guy out. But I didn't. Okay. Bomb that guy's face. Now, I would actually like to pick up that cloth, so let's get rid of the white algae. Let's also... Uh, let's also drop this sap. Yes, and then I see a secret note over here, which we will get, and we will quickly take a look at. Something is waiting for you on level 100 in the Skull Cavern. Yes, I, I actually did know that, but thank you for the hot tip. Uh, let's put a bomb here. Okay, way down. Oh no. Attacked immediately. This is why I always say to have your sword out when you go down the floor in this cavern. Oh my goodness, there's lots of gems and ores on this floor though. What are we at? Level 22. So you can see from this how hard it is to actually- Ooh, diamonds. No, we have to pick up the diamonds. How hard it is to actually get down to level 100. <laughs> We've been at this all day. It's 6.50pm and we have gotten to level 22. So you really do have to get very, very lucky. Okay. Uh, let's just quickly look at this secret note as well. Haley and Emily. Favourite gifts. Useful. Cool. Thank you. Alrighty. There is something else pretty and shiny over here, which we probably can't pick up. Nope. Uh, let's get rid of some of these bone fragments. Yeah. Okay. Cherry bomb. Not helpful. Oh, there's emeralds over there too, I just noticed. Okay. Bomb! 
There is another way that you can progress faster through the Skull Cavern, which is by the use of staircases. The only thing with the staircases is if you use too many of them, then they get upset with you at the end. <laughs> They're like, you cheated! Oh shoot, come on game, why? I was having such a nice time. I already fought off one infested area. Why would you do this to me? Okay, another secret note that I quickly need to pick up. Thank you, and then we can quickly read it. I hid something behind the community center, cool. I don't know who you are or what you hid, but I guess we'll figure that out. Serpents, come on. There's another secret note. Another secret note. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Oh, how to find cool stuff from garbage cans. Awesome. Okay, we've got two ladders now. Just want to grab the rest of this ore. And here we go. Okay. Ooh, there's lots of the flying dudes. More diamonds. Haven't found much iridium ore yet, have we? Look how many of these little flying bugs there are on this floor. My goodness, they're everywhere. Ow. <gasps> Whoa, my health. <laughs> That could have killed me and I would not have even noticed. Holy shoot. I need to be more careful. Oh my goodness. Uh, there's a ladder. I see a ladder. Excellent. Excellent. Down we go. Okay, we've re reached level 25 again at least, which is as far as we got last time because that was our, our goal. Oh my god, these slimes. Die. Die. Yay, okay, jump in. Six levels. <gasps> Yay, level 30. We've actually gotten somewhere. Or 31, rather. Let's take out that slime. Eee. So you can see why I said not to come to the skull cavern until your inventory is fully upgraded as well, by the way, because there's a lot that we're not um, able to collect here right now. Okay, let's put a bomb there. And a bomb there. Cool. That was fun. Now we need to craft more bombs because I'm out. Now those are the mega bombs that you can craft as well. So those are very useful. You come down to a floor which has just got lots of rocks all over the place. Use a mega bomb. Uh oh. Okay. Mm, I'd really like a path down game if that's at all possible. It's 11 10 pm. I am keeping my eye on the time. But we've got the warp totem to go straight back to the farm, so I'm not too worried about staying out here super late. There's another serpent coming at me. Slowly. Come on, buddy. Fight like a man. Oh no. And this is the floor we get stuck on. Okay, so just to demonstrate, you can make a staircase just from stone. You just need 99 stone. So it does actually use up quite a lot of stone, uh, but you do collect a lot of stone here in the um, skull cabin. So you make a staircase, you put it down and a ladder appears. So that is useful if you're just stuck on a floor and you really want to get down like, you know, one or two more floors. Oh geez. And you just can't find the way down and you can't be bothered breaking up all the rocks. Um, yeah, craft a staircase, it's useful. Okay, it is 12 a.m. so we should probably go home. Okay, fine. Level 33, not bad. That is our new record for the Skull Cavern. Let's use our Warp Totem and get our butts out of here. All right, 
Oh, and we're back. <laughs> so that was a pretty successful trip, I would say. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. I completely forgot I picked up these dark boots too. So we're currently wearing space boots, which is plus four defense and plus four immunity. These guys only give us plus four defense and plus two immunity. So we're not going to put those on, but they are a useful thing to have. Okay, luckily we got an Iridium bar, which is super lucky. And we've got enough ore to craft one more. So that's amazing. Uh, let's just come up here to my desert chest, add all of that. Uh, okay. What else? What else? So the Dark Boots will probably try to sell back to uh, the Adventurers Guild. Just be like, here you go, have these. And the cloth, I might actually hang on to that for now, because that's actually a useful thing that we don't have a lot of. Okie dokie. Cave carrots can go in the fridge so we can make root platters. And let's come over here. Hi, baby. And put that in there, that in there. Grab all the rest of our tools again and go to bed. Oh, and I forgot Caroline's birthday. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, level seven combat plus five half power. New crafting recipe, ring of Yoba and thorns ring. Interesting. I wonder what they do. Let's have a cheeky look. Oops, I forgot to actually sell anything today and only made 112 gold. Fail. That's okay. No worries. Okay. So this has been quite a long episode at this point, I realise. Sorry about that, everybody. Just wanted to have a look. What's the Ring of Yoba? Occasionally shields the wearer from damage. Diamond, iron, and gold. Okay. Um, we also, I should really get into ring crafting, shouldn't I? Look at this. Sturdy ring. Copper, bug meat, and slime. Cuts the duration of negative status effects in half. Warrior ring. Occasionally infuses the enemy, the sorry, the wearer with warrior energy after slaying a monster. Um, thorn ring. When enemies damage you, they will take damage themselves. That's kind of cool. And then a glowstone ring is what we're currently wearing, I think. Yeah, so right now we have a magnet ring and a glow ring. Um, I don't know if it's worth changing out either of those. We'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Yeah, sorry, it's been quite a long one. Um, and I hope you enjoyed all of the cutscenes. I hope you enjoyed the mining and the attempt at clutching the glacier fish. <laughs> I'll try that again at a future point in time. Definitely go ahead, leave any thoughts or suggestions for my channel down below. Um, leave your comments, feedback. I love to hear it. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead, leave a thumbs up rating, a like rating. You can also subscribe if you're not, hit the notification bell and stay in tune with the channel. I uh, hope you have a great rest of your week. Take care and I will hopefully see you guys next Monday for our next episode. Bye for now.